Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up automated panning using a Zhuon crane. Now to do so, all you need to do is head over to the iTunes Store or Google Play and download the ZY Play app from Zhuon and you'll get access to this amazing feature. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to activate and use automated panning on the Zhuon crane. I've got an Olympus OMD on a Zhuon crane sitting on a tripod in front of me and it's automatically panning this opening scene. So I've got the ZY app open on my iPhone. The first thing I'll do is to tap on the please connect device icon at the bottom of the screen. It'll take a few moments to find your crane and register and then you're ready to go. The option we're going to be using today is called moving time lapse, which can be found in the second menu item on the top of the screen. We tap on moving time lapse and now we get to create waypoints. A waypoint is the start and end point for your motion. So in order to control the position of my pan on the Zhuon crane, I need to be in mode B, which allows for manual panning with a joystick on the rear of the crane. I'm in that mode right now and I'm going to move my camera into the position that I want it to start panning from. Then I'll tap the plus button on the waypoint. I'm now presented with an option to create a second waypoint, which is where I want my pan to end. I'm going to manually move the crane into that position using the joystick on the rear. And now I'm going to tap plus once more. Now that I have my two waypoints, I'm ready to tap on the next option. By the way, before we go ahead, if I wanted to, I could create multiple waypoints and have the camera pan left, right, backwards and forwards and so on. But I'm just gonna create two waypoints to go from left to right here. Tap on next. And now I have my final list of options that allow me to select my time interval, my shutter speed, my duration, and how I'm going to save the video. Now, most of these aren't relevant for this particular example because this app is also designed as a standalone for the Zhuon Crane mobile users. So it will actually create time-lapse videos for you and will actually automatically create a file on your iPhone. We're not using that aspect of this feature right now. We're just utilizing the panning motion from the waypoint A through to B. So I don't have to pay attention to any of these settings other than the actual duration of the pan. For this opening scene that you just saw, I chose to pan for one minute, which means that it's going to be a relatively slow pan. Now I'm ready to go, I'll just tap on the start button and you'll see the Zhuon move into position and start panning automatically. Now the other thing you might want to use this effect for is time-lapse movies. So it's actually the same procedure as far as the Zhuon Play app goes, but you just need to put your camera into time-lapse mode and then you'll need to consider changing the duration of the pan. And that way you'll get a very effective time-lapse motion pan movie. The examples that you're seeing on a screen now were shot with a 10 minute duration on the Zhuon Play app. The one thing that I learned as part of the trial and error process was that if a phone call would come in, it would actually interrupt the panning within the app. So I highly advise that you put your phone into aeroplane mode and this will avoid any interruption with the app. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create automated panning effects using the Zhuon Crane. If you've got any questions remaining, feel free to ask them in the comments box below. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell next to subscribe so that you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.